This is Insider Medicine In-Depth. Less than half of individuals without known heart disease who are undergoing invasive testing of the coronary blood vessels are found to have significant obstructions in these vessels, according to research published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Here is some information about coronary angiography. It is a procedure in which dye is injected into the body and then x-rays are used to visualize blood flow through the vessels that feed the heart. It is usually done along with catheterization in which a balloon tipped catheter is threaded into the coronary arteries to achieve a better view of the vessels and remove any blockages that are found. The procedure carries with it a very small risk of a serious adverse event, including a heart attack or stroke. Researchers from Duke University Medical Center in Durham used a national cardiovascular registry to identify nearly 400,000 individuals without known heart disease who underwent coronary catheterization to look for obstructions in the blood vessels that feed the heart. Left untreated, such obstructions can lead to a heart attack or stroke. The investigators also looked at whether certain characteristics of the individuals, including their sex, age, the presence of other medical conditions, and the results of less invasive tests, could predict who would be eventually diagnosed with one or more obstructions. Catheterization revealed the presence of an obstruction in only about 38% of the individuals tested. In addition, a lack of obstructive disease was confirmed in 39% of the individuals. Men, those who were older, those with insulin-dependent diabetes, and those with high cholesterol levels were all more likely to have obstructions in their coronary arteries. Those who had positive findings on non-invasive tests were only 28% more likely to have an obstruction than those who underwent no such testing. We spoke with Dr. Manesh Patel, one of the investigators of this study, who offered some further insight. This study really speaks to patients that were stable, either seen in their doctor's offices or the primary care physician offices for um, stable chest discomfort symptoms and for their evaluation period. So, so my sense for patients is that if you are wondering if your discomfort in your chest is related to your heart, but it is not an unstable symptom, um, you're wondering if you have risks for heart disease and they get evaluated by their primary care physicians or cardiologists. This study may speak to them. And we feel one of the main points of the study for patients is to make sure they understand their own risk and understand the risk for cardiac catheterization and their chance of having obstructive coronary artery disease before going through the procedure. So specifically, we believe the procedure is important for their health um, if they are at high risk or if they have abnormal findings on a stress test that are high risk. However, for asymptomatic patients, patients without symptoms, or low risk findings on a stress test, this study shows that their likelihood of having significant blockages to their heart is low. Specifically, 62% of the patients in this study did not have significant obstructive disease, with 39% having almost no disease whatsoever. Today's research highlights the need to do a better job of identifying who is likely to have obstructive coronary artery disease before sending individuals for invasive coronary angiography and catheterization. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Kelly Schweitzer.